Today I'm going to show you how to make this really cool tin can camp stove. Make, fix, grow, cook. Garden fork. Hey, how you doing? I was cleaning out some, uh, we had salmon or tuna or something, and I kind of had a memory flashback to when we were kids, and we would make these really cool burner, fire starter, cooker things out of some cardboard, some wax, and tin cans. So I wanted to take you down memory lane today. I think this is kind of practical for today as well. I think it's good to be prepared, but it's also good, you know, if you have kids and they want to learn about fire, this is a very controlled fire method, and you could cook food on it. We're going to make an egg at the end of this video here. So let me just take all this stuff. You need a, some sort of can, some wax, cardboard. You could also use candles, um, either candles that you just buy at the store or you had laying around, or if you have some decorative candles that are kind of at the end of their life, save a bunch of them, and then you can make these cool little burners. What do we, I, I don't even, I'll figure out the name and I'll put it in the title. I just don't remember what they're called, but I remember what they do, all right? First, let's cut some cardboard. Cardboard, can, you want the cardboard to be the same width the same height, sorry, as your can. Oh, and that works out pretty good. All right, so it looks like about a one inch wide strip. Works just fine. So we've got our tin can, we have our cardboard. I'm gonna curl the cardboard as best I can. And then this is going to lay in here and we're gonna have a spiral of cardboard. I don't know, this is just that we had a tent in our backyard and we would camp out. Um, and I just, it was just a fun memory. And I think that, you know, we should just go in our backyards again and go camping with this cool little fire cooker thing. It helps to curl the cardboard before putting it in there. And these last couple ones, I'm gonna pre-curl it and then put it in. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect because Garden fork is done is better than perfect, right? This is, I just, I just, this is one of these fascinating things for me. Nice. So this is a electric burner I keep for different projects. I'm gonna turn this on. If you're using your stove top, be very careful. I'm just gonna use an aluminum pan. If you could use a pot or something you don't care about, that's fine, because whatever this wax goes in, it's not going to come out and you can't make food with it or something. So I'll just turn this up. So this wax melts a little faster. I'm just going to crack it open or crack, break it apart. Is that what I'm gonna do? I guess that's what we'll call that. Be careful with this. You don't want the wax to get too hot. Bad things can happen, okay? Be careful. Just a little caveat here. Wax is flammable. It can also burn your skin. We're using fire here. We're using sharp tools. So be careful. Use safety gear. Have a parent there if you're watching your kid, okay? And wear clothes that you don't care about, like this that has all the food stains all over it and I'm supposed to throw out. I put it on because I knew I'm supposed to throw it out because wax on here, not coming off. Okay, wax is melted. Turn this off. Have your cardboard right here. While you hold the pan and pour this into here. Hey, this is your first time to Garden Fork. We have a ton more videos. The links are at the end of the show and down below here. Also more information about me, where I am socially. Um, Garden Fork is, I call it make, fix, grow, cook. That's what I'm calling it right now at least. And it's eclectic, kind of a mashup of homesteading and DIY and maker and what I do on the weekends, I make videos about it and I share it with all of you. So if you want to subscribe, there's a link below or somewhere and at the end of the show, there's a big subscribe button. All right, here we go. So while your wax burner thing is cooling, you want to get yourself some sort of a tin can. Um, this is, happens to be a coffee can, which are kind of rare these days. Maybe a can of beans, you know, like a medium or big can of beans might work. Ask around, maybe one of your friends, families has tin cans or something like that. But we want to cut with some tin snips because you should all have some tin snips in your basement shop. Um, a little hole here 
and then some holes at the top as well, all right? Take this, cut like that. I'm gonna go up about an inch and a half there. Take this and push it in. It's not going in, there we go. So, evenly push it from both sides, like that, so it's up out of the way. Now again, sharp edges here, be careful, but we're camping, you know, we're gonna be careful anyway, right? So we've got our slot cut out of the bottom. Now we need some vent holes in the top, and for that, I'm just gonna take a can opener and punch. I'm gonna do four holes, kind of equidistant. All right, this is cooled, liquefied. You, you might wanna pour more in, you know, it's kind of like, how big of a fire thing do you want? Um, an important thing for I to point out, the stove top should be larger than the tuna can, so it fits nicely like that, like that. All right, fried egg test, ready? Here we go. One thing, it's best if this can is not lined with anything, uh, just a generic coffee tin kind of can works best for this. Uh, use this at your own risk. I'm gonna cook an egg on this, so if you have a little pan, a little pan on here, a little tin foil cupcake thing or something like that. Do I have any? Goes without saying, do this in a safe place, okay? Outside, your campsite, the yard, and have one of these handy. How cool is that, huh? Oh man, that's stinking up. We should go outside and do this. This is a much better can than the one we used, okay? So find one like that, not that. All right, I decided to move outside because when I put the can on, um, it really started to smell because this all has to burn off. So do a nice burn before you start cooking. All right, this goes over like that. See how the smoke's coming out? We just want this to kind of burn off a bit. So we're just letting the can burn off a bit. That is doing really nicely. You can also replenish the wax that's in here. Again, do this under adult supervision. Oop. You can put some wax here and it'll melt right down in. And to put that flame out, just like that. So I've built a little tray out of foil here. A little spray, a cooking spray. Not bad. All right, I like my eggs over easy. I'm not a big sunny side up person, so let's see if I can flip the egg. All right. That's lunch. All right, what do you guys think? Have you built something like this? Any suggestions? Comments below, love to hear from you guys. I think the can the cooking can, like a bean can that you can take the paper label off, would work better than the can that has the label painted on because it does stink up the place. But we can cook in an emergency. I don't know, I just like stuff like this. So let me know what you think. If you want to watch more Garden Fork, there should be a couple of buttons to click on here. We have a rocket stove we made, like a prototype rocket stove out of a five gallon bucket. Maybe that will appear here as well. All right, always like to hear from you guys. Make it a great day. I'll see you.